Oppenheimer is great. Go see it. There you go. That's your spoiler free review. Oppenheimer starts by basically setting up the story of who Oppenheimer himself was and kind of going on and on and like until eventually, of course, you get to the point where they drop the bomb. But throughout the entire movie, the main feeling that I personally got from it wasn't necessarily like, oh, this is how he built the atomic bomb. More so the conflictiveness that Oppenheimer himself felt while building it. Everyone else at some point started celebrating, of course, of all the successes and everything that was done, but never once do you see Oppenheimer actually celebrate any of the accomplishments that are being made. There's always this underlying feeling of like, I'm doing this because I'm basically being told but I actually don't want to do this because I have a feeling that my invention or our invention is really going to result into what is going to be a lot of death of innocent people. And I think the movie did a really good job at never really shying away from the fact that yes, he did build an atomic bomb. And yes, a lot of people suffered because of that and are still suffering because of those things. And obviously, and before you go into the movie, the more and more that becomes obvious. And meanwhile, Towards the end, in typical politician fashion, they have to make someone a scapegoat, and obviously, it becomes him. And I really feel that that's where the strength of the movie really is. Aside from the amazing cinematography, the great dialogue, the great acting, just the whole package of the movie is just great. Like, it's just a really, really good movie. The soundtrack, the well the everything really i can't really think of anything that i didn't like about the movie maybe some parts you might feel you feel like it's a bit too much like okay you know we get it with the fancy visuals and stuff like that but at the same time you know later in the movie the beginning starts to make a lot more sense so i guess it's really one of those you know you gotta have to lean back prepare yourself for a roller coaster ride that doesn't really feel like it's a three hour sitting but more so about like an hour or an hour and a half because you know once that break rolls around like wait we're already halfway through the movie but like i said before i think the main thing that i liked about the movie is just the fact that it just didn't shy away from the topic at hand it never tried to glorify or really like try to make it entertaining right this it sounds really weird that the movie is not trying to make something entertaining but it didn't try to make a spectacle or an entertainment out of the fact that that the atomic bomb was being built or the atomic bomb was you know obviously being deployed within that war and that had killed so many of those innocent people it never even attempted to justify it being made it just literally was like okay this is exactly what happens you can make your own mind up whether or not it was necessary or not this is how it was through oppenheimer's experience he had his doubts he voiced his doubts and he was always told like just do your job just do what you're told it will be fine you're not the one making the decisions and i think even in the end he was kind of like feeling bittersweet about it because on one hand he became the most famous person around the world but at the same time it's also like yeah I really did that and I'd like to change it and I'd like to let everyone know that this is not okay and we should do better and we should make sure that this does not fall in the wrong hands and get wrongly used in all sorts of different situations but at the end of it it seemed to be unfruitful and I kind of wonder like in his final days how exactly he ended up feeling and if he was proud of the work that he'd done or if that he didn't I'm not sure I think even until his final breath he had very much a very big doubt. But that's just my takeaway and thoughts about uh, Oppenheimer. Uh, let me know yours in the comments and all that stuff. Thanks for checking it out, and I'll see you later.